Baby, why are we still having this conversation? This talk is done now. We've been talking about this the whole car ride home. Can you give it a rest already? Listen, baby. For once, just listen to me. Like, damn, I told you already. And I gave you my answer. We're done with this. And I'm over it. What more is there to talk about, baby? Huh? What more is there? You said you want to go on more dates. And I said we will. Okay? But not right now, baby. Not right now. I'm tired. We're both tired. Let's just take a little bit of a break from doing all of that. And just kick back and chill at home. Why do we got to go out for? What do you mean we never go out? We literally have been going out a lot, baby. The holidays just ended. Christmas just ended. New Year's just ended. And we have been going back to back to multiple parties and events for all of those things. And honestly, if I'm going to be really honest, I think since then, we haven't even had a normal sleeping schedule. Because we both been sleeping at like 3 a.m. And then waking up at 7 or 8 in the morning. So? So what? That's not normal at all. I like my sleep, baby. We need rest. Just look at your face. Go. Go look in the mirror. Forget the bags underneath your eyes. Because even your bags have bags. You can't stand here and tell me that's normal. Because it's not. Yes, that's a Spongebob reference. And Squidward, he did say that. But it's true. Just look at yourself. We are out here looking like a crusty, dusty couple. <sighs> I'm serious, baby. We can't keep doing this. Because honestly, we're looking kind of ugly right now. Oh my goodness, baby. Calm down. Settle down. You're being dramatic. I'm not saying you're ugly. Pause, okay? Just pause. I'm not saying you're ugly, okay? So, calm down, and let me finish my damn sentence. Stop interrupting me. Oh, so now you're going to throw a fit and lock yourself in the bedroom, huh? <sighs> okay, I'll just let her cool down. She'll come out eventually. Baby, please come out. You've been in there for a while now, baby. I'm sorry. Can we just talk about this outside and stop yelling at each other? You'll come out later. Why, baby? When is later? Because you've been in there for an hour now. And hearing you cry, that hurts me. It does. So, baby, please come out. Okay, all right, well, I think I know what I can do. Let's see. Baby, if you're not gonna come out, then I'm just gonna sit here against the door with you and I got a surprise for you. What is it? You'll see, just wait. <laughs>
said, when did I learn that? Well, I remember you told me that you like guitars and the sound of it. So I got one, and I really suck at it. <laughs> but I've been learning, and I knew you uh, really liked this song, since it sounds nice on the guitar. So I just learned how to play this song, like just this one song. Mm-hmm, of course. I learned it just for you. I love you too, baby. And I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean to be mean. I'm just saying that the decisions that we've been making, it's not good for our health. And it's been making us unhealthy. And I don't want that for us. So let's just take the week off and chill. Not do anything crazy. And then we can go back after our little rest. So we can get back into, you know, a routine again. That's all I'm saying. Mm hmm Yes, of course. We will always go on dates. Because I love taking you out on dates and seeing you smile. <laughs> it's uh, the prettiest thing in the world to me. I love you too. Come here. Mm. Mm.